Hello and welcome to Dominating Dominion. I'm Zach. I'm Ben. This is Dominion. Specifically, we're playing again with Renaissance and Dark Ages. Why are we doing that? Well, we had a request to play with rats. Rats! And there's a recommended set that comes with Renaissance called Sewer Rats. Yeah, you can find it in your book. I think it's the second one. So you might have played this one before because it is a pre-made. Uh, we thought we were doing so many randoms. Why not play one that has rats since we didn't want to make one with rats? Uh, so yeah, that that's pretty much why we're doing this episode, just to focus on the rat card this time. Cause I, and Renaissance, too. Yeah, Renaissance. We I think, uh, I think honestly, that's been our favorite because we've been going through and playing through the uh, pre-maids. So far, I'm liking Renaissance quite a bit. I don't know if, if you have anything to say more about it since our review. Do you like it any more than you last Save time? Save until later. Okay. Ben will give us his updated opinion on Renaissance here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, let's delve into this set and see what we're playing with this week. All right, on this week's episode, we've got Lackeys, Improve, Mountain Village, Rats, Flag Bearer, Research, Cultist, Count, Counterfeit, Grave Robber, and with the fl uh, flag bearer, we got ourselves a flag artifact. And our two projects are sewers and crop rotation this week. And we got some ruins here. I didn't put the curses out because I assume we're not buying any. But if we need to, I can find them. All right. I won last week. So you're first. Four rats. Oh. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we're also playing with shelters. That's important. All right, I got three. Um, sewers. Three. Sewers. Yep, we're doing the same thing. I thought about going flag bearer here, but I just want the rats right off the bat. I need some rats going. Because we like ourselves some rats in our kingdom. I just like picturing the fact that there's, there's an empire rats. out there where people are buying rats. <laughs> Ooh, a necropolis, okay. Actually, ha, I didn't play necropolis. Oh, okay. I had an idea. It's two. I'm gonna buy an estate, which allows me to trash a hovel, which because I have sewers, allows me to trash a necropolis. Nice. Okay, I've got three. I'm gonna take me an improve. Five. from the rats a good card and an action and then I gain a rats and I trash a card that's not a rats I'll trash this overgrown estate so I get to when I trash an overgrown estate draw a card bam okay then I've got five as well I'm gonna get me. Oh, I want the cultist or the grave robber. Cultist. Rats. Oh, I should probably draw my card first. Because that changes what I do. Yes, draw your card. And I get a rat. And, uh. Two blacks. Two villagers. All right. Rats. Now I get a rats. Now I can trash a card. We'll trash the hovel. And then I can trash another card with the sewers, which I will this time. Copper. Then I'm going to do an improve. And that gives me two coins. And then at the start of cleanup, I can trash an action card that I had in play to get one costing one more exactly. And then Necropolis. Look at that. I got three. I'm going to take me another improve. Now I can trash one of these cards I have and get something costing exactly one more. I'm going to trash the rats. So I get to draw a card now. <laughs> Which really doesn't matter, but... I gotta draw it anyway. 
So here's my card I drew. No improve for you. Um, so then I get a five. Get a five. We'll call this. Okay. Now that can go away. Four flag bear. Give me that flag. Alright. Rats. Bam. I gain a rats. I trash a card. Bam. I trash another card if I wish. I don't have that one. I'm going to play a rats. Gain a card. Trash. Gain a rats. Bam. Trash card. I'm going to trash that. Then a cultist. You have to gain a Ruins, and I get two cards. Then I'll be allowed to play another Cultist from my hand if I have one. Well, I have one Cultist. Will I get it? Nope. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four. I shall take the Flag Bear, or Bear here. So I gain it, I take the Flag. That's it. Um, I don't like that you did that. Uh -huh. So I'm going to Grave Robber this Flag Bear. Oh, here you go. Thanks. And it's gonna be something. I don't know what yet. I'll fight your cultist with cultists. Not a countess, it's a cultist. It's gonna count your cults. Two lackeys with two more villagers. Alright, I'm going to play Necropolis. Then rats. Trash card. Trash that. Rats. Did you gain your rats from the last rats? No, I yeah, you're in for both rats here, so bam. Yeah, you gotta keep up those rats. Um, so I got a trash card. Trash that. Then I'm gonna play... Two improves! So I've got four. I'm gonna take a mountain village here. And now it's my cleanup, so any of these cards in play, I can trash two of them and get, I think, one more. Look at this. Bam, so I get two more cards. One, two, and I get two five cards. Let's take me a cultist. And I will take a grave robber. Rat, draw a card, gain a rat. I'm gonna trash copper. And then with sewers, trash copper. And I'm gonna play rats, draw a card, get rats, trash copper, and a lackeys. And a lackeys. I don't want anything. He didn't want anything. Nope. I'm gonna play rats. Hey, look, I get a rats. I'm going to trash that. Then I got a cultist. You get a ruins. Well, that's not very nice. Then I'm going to play another cultist on that. So you get another ruins. Then I'm going to play another cultist on that. More ruins. That's all I can play. I got a whole whopping one cool. Uh, Good job. Uh, do I want the copper? No. Ah, silly boy. Grave robber, a rat into a gold, right? Trash an extra card from your hand and gain a card costing up to three more than it. Yep, that works. That works. Did you draw your extra card for trashing the rats? I'm doing that right now. And then for sewers, I'm trashing a rat. Which gives me another card. And then I'm going to spend a villager to get an action, and I'm going to cultist you. Ooh, survivors. I'm going to play another villager to play a rat to trash the survivors. And. Lackeys. I have to get them rats. And I've got three. Take a silver. Mountain village. You look through my discard pile and I get a card from it. Otherwise. Uh, I drew a card. I have two actions. We're going to do an improve. 
Um, I'm gonna play rats. Gain rats. Then trash card. I'm gonna trash cultists. <laughs> Acropolis. Then a flag bearer. Uh, rats. Give me rats. Trash the survivors. Then I'm going to play an improve. Yeah. So I've got six. I'm going to buy me a gold. And then. Uh, this is my cleanup phase. I'm going to trash two cards with my improved to get two higher cards. Let's trash the rats and the flag bearer so I get the flag back. No! I get two five. Well, I gotta draw a card. Here's that card that I waste. <laughs> and then uh, I get two five cards. So let's get me a grave robber and a cultist. It. I'm going to play Grave Robber to trash a rat. I draw a card, and I'm going to gain a gold with it. And then with the sewers, trash a rat. Oh yeah, I, got, I couldn't remember that sewer there. Actually, no, not the rats. The overgrown estate. Which still gets me a card. And then I'm going to spend a villager to play a rat. I get a rat, I get a card, and then I trash a card. And then the trash a second card. And I have a cultist, so you get a ruins. Whoop! And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want you to have the flag. My flag! I got a rat. Oh, we're almost out of rats. And then I'm gonna trash. Copper, and then with sewers, I'm gonna trash a rat. So I draw a card, and then I'm gonna play an improve. And with two coins, I'm gonna get me some lackeys. So I get two villagers when I gain this. And then at the cleanup phase, I can... Those are coffers. I know, villagers, they're villagers. Alright, so, I'm gonna trash card, which will be the rats, so I draw a card, and I get a five card, let's get a graver. Your turn. I'm gonna play a rats, so I'm gonna draw a card, gain a rats, and then trash a card that is not a rats, which will be this ruined library. And then I am going to trash... with sewers, copper, I'm going to Grave Robber, Rats, into the gold. I've got three! Uh, I don't want anything. Mountain Village, I get a card out of here. I'm going to take this cultist. Then I'm going to play... Grave Robber, a Cultist, for three cards. And then I get a card cost because I trashed an action card. So you get an eight card. Rots. Oh, snap. Then I'm going to do another Grave Robber on a Cultist for three more cards. And I'll take Province. All right, so I'll draw three cards. Um, I'm going to call forth a villager to play a necropolis, so I got two more actions. So I'm going to play a cultist, and then improve, so two coins on that. So I've got five. I'm going to take me a mountain village. Then, at the cleanup phase, I can trash one of these cards to get a five, or, or one more card. I'm going to trash... Gain a card so I can get gold with this. So bam. Gold. I'm going to use a sewer to trash a card from my hand. 
which will be some rats. So I draw a card and that's it. Can I have the flag back? No. I'm going to play rats. So I draw a card, gain a rat, and I trash a card. And a trash. Two coppers, one with rats, one with sewers. And I've got a grave robber, a cultist into a province. And then trash that, I get three cards. And I've got, you see, uh, quite a few. Whoa! Well, did you look at this? I have a mountain village, but no discard, so it's just a normal village, basically. Uh, I'm going to do a rats. Get a rats. I'm going to trash survivors here. Then I'm going to do a grave robber to take a cultist out of here. And then I'm going to do an improve. So I've got five again. I'm going to take. Dutchie. And I get a trash card from cleanup. I'm going to trash the rats. Get a five card. Grave robber. Or I could get a Dutchie. I want another Dutchie. I'm going to take a green phone. And I could trash another card if I want. I don't. Your turn. I'm going to play a rat. Draw a card. There's no more rats to gain, so that's kind of nice. Trash the survivors. And rats, so I draw a card. And then I'm going to grave robber. A rat. I draw a card. And I gain up to a 7. I'm going to take a counterfeit. I've got five. I'm going to take another camera pit. The Mountain Village. I'm going to get my cultist out of here. Then I'm going to do... Grave Robber. I'm going to trash a cultist to get three cards and I'm getting the province. And I also, with the sewers, I'm going to trash one of my rats to get an additional card. And then I'm going to play a Necropolis. I'm going to play an Improve. I'm going to play a Cultist, so you get a Ruins. And... That's it. So I've got five here. I'm going to take me, I keep getting five, I wish I had six, get a cultist, and then with improve, I'm going to, Ooh, this is tough, I trash that, I get three cards, but I don't really want three cards, so I'm going to trash the grave robber here, and get gold, and I can trash a card from my hand, which will be rats, which I guess I have. Ha! But I don't want rats no more. No more rats. There's my card. Doesn't matter. Okay, your turn. Nine of problems. Alright, I got a mountain village. I get a card out of here. I'm gonna take... Grave Robber. Then I'm going to play a Grave Robber on a cultist, so I trash that, I get a province, and I draw three cards, and with sewers I can trash something else, so I will trash these rats to draw a card. Ooh. I'm gonna play an improve. I've got game over. Eight. That is going to be game over, because that's all I'm going to do. You win. Just barely there. Oh, no, you win by a lot. How many provinces did you have? Three. Yeah. I 
feel like if you would have gotten that one, though, I don't know what other victory cards you had. Nothing. That was it. So I had 33. 18. I, I enjoyed that set. That was quite a fun set. Interesting. I didn't like the sewer rats. You didn't like the sewer rats? There were too many of them. Too many sewer rats for you? So, uh, what should we delve into first here? Should we start with... I kind of feel like the projects we should save for the end, because specifically sewers I want to talk about after we talk about some of these cards. Unless you think we should talk about this first before talking about all these trash cards. I don't know which would be best to do here. We'll let Ben decide. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, I know. That's I was thinking, I don't know where to start. I think we should talk about the beloved copper. Well, you see, coppers suck, so you probably want to trash them in this set. There you go. There you go. Done. Now on to lackeys. Lackeys. Did we play with this one last time? I think we did. Probably. We've played with this one a lot, so... Uh, I think we did. I think we did. So I don't know how much we got to say about this. But honestly, there's not much... You don't buy it for the plus two cards. No. because In my opinion. I think... Uh, you buy I compare this to Moat. Villagers. I compare this to Moat. And I never care to really draw two cards. It's not that many. It's okay. Uh, the bottom part, though, getting the two villagers, really nice. You can save some actions for later. Um, then just trash it and get something new. In this set, it's pretty easy to trash things. They're just some lackeys. You don't really need a whole bunch of them. Nope. They're expendable. Throw them away. Like that. Bye-bye. There we go. We're going on to improve. Something you can use to get rid of your lackeys. So two coins. Uh, I like that. It's a silver. It's just going to consume your actions. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, it's definitely... I like the idea of taking a card that you've played mm -hmm. and, and dumping it. That's cool. It's a nice little uh, card. You, did you go to these? Nope. I think this definitely helped me a lot because I could yep. play my rats and, and I was getting a rat. But in order to keep control of that population, this helped and I got something better yep. out of it. So, especially in this set, I think Improve is a great buy. I think this was my 3-buy and my 4-3 split. No, you bought sewers. Right, okay. I did debate about this, but I went the sewers. But I knew I was going to pick one of these up pretty soon. Because I felt it just comboed especially well with getting rid of rats. And I was especially trying to get 5 cards to help me get these provinces with the Grave Robbers, which we'll get to uh, as our last card. But all that comboing together, I thought made, made him prove a really strong card. Uh, why did you ignore it? Because in every other set, I didn't want to trash my action cards in play. Okay, so so just from previous, previous experience, experience, you were like, yeah, okay. But in this set, it's definitely a good one, especially because you do want to get rid of rats. So why don't you... Go so in previous sets, because I've gone it in previous sets, what's your downside to... Do you just not care to trash cards in play, or what's your thought? Typically, when I buy an action card, I want to keep that card. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to buy a card to trash cards that I've played. I'd rather trash things, use other methods of trashing. So that's your opinion on that one. Yeah. I like it. It's card. a cool little card. I like that it's uh, it's simple, but it's something new. Because there's not many cards that you're pulling stuff out of play, mm -hmm. usually. Maybe treasures, but not action cards. That's kind of cool. I like it. And good artwork on this one. I like it. Okay, I, I think we've talked about this one as well. Mountain Village. Still didn't buy it. I did. I loved it. This was super powerful for getting cards out of my discard, like the Grave Robbers when I needed yep. them. So, again, highly recommend the Mountain Village. Uh, if you didn't see last episode, we talked about it quite a bit. Um, not much more to say on it. It's just your typical village, but it's going to let you pull probably a really good card out as long as it's in your discard. So, I picked this up because I needed more actions, and I was like, hey, uh, Mountain Villager 2 would be pretty good with all my terminating actions, so. Good little card. This might be my favorite village. I don't know if it's I said that last list. time, because I didn't know. But I think this is becoming my favorite village out of all of them. Just for the fact that I can pull off that cool combo of getting one good card I really want. Alright, to the highlight of the set, why we played it. Rats! Ben, opinion on rats. What do you think? They're annoying as hell. Oh, annoying, huh? Yeah. But it's also pretty great. Uh, a lot of new people, this card's very confusing because, like, you don't want too many rats. Because, honestly, rats as a card itself isn't that great. It is really purely just for trashing. 
Um, but because you're always trashing something, you're getting a rats, you still have the same card size. You're just trading it in for more rats. Yep. So if rats is your only trash card in a game, probably ignore it. Yeah, that's because, what I do. Because it's not worth it at that point. You're just exchanging something for rats, and, and you're going to get more. The things you're getting rid of are worth more than a handful of rats at the end of the game. Yeah. Um, this is a card that you go only if there's other trash cards. Which in this set, there was plenty. So it, it made rats worth One, going. two, three, four. That was tra this trash. Yep, four. Four other ones. Yep, plus using sewers, sewers to do it. Uh, I did not utilize sewers as much as I probably should have with rats. I think I could have got my rat population way more under control yep. than I did. Um... But you know what? Still worked out. Uh, I think that's something I could have improved. You really want to make... that That's the key to this strategy, is using your rats to trash stuff, because it is a quick trash card. Um, and being able to trash your rats, because you can use that to draw the card at the bottom, yep. but in a set like this, turning your rats into something even better with a four, really, really good. Nice. I like that a lot. This is, uh, I think, the designer's favorite card who made Dominion. Hmm. I think I could see why, just because it's very interesting. There's no other card like it. Um, one of the highlights from Dark Ages, if we haven't talked about this card before, it's kind of sad, because I love when this card shows up. Especially because who, who thinks about buying rats? So, um... Especially for four, that's expensive. Those are some expensive rats. Yeah, really, like, this cost, costs as much as a mountain village. You can either have a village in the nice scenic mountains here, or some pet rats. You can also buy a, a nice flag. flag. Bear. Oh, well, no, that, flag, yeah, bearer. flag bearer. He okay. has to be able to bear your flag in order for you to have the flag. So, it's funny. A lot of the pre-made sets, for whatever reason, have this flag bearer. Because we've been playing with this a lot. And it's, one, I think, from being random in our games. Because we've had it in a couple random yep. games on our own. But we've been getting it a lot in the pre-mades. Um, it's a very interesting card. So, on its own, it's just two coins. And for four... Yeah, improve is better. Yep. A silver is probably better. Unless you can, like, throw them. The key to this card is, is the, the bottom part, is getting the flag. Because getting to draw an extra card in each of your hands is really pretty nice. nice. Um, it gives you a huge advantage if you can keep it. So the fact is you gotta you got to keep on the ball with it. If you pick up a flag bearer, if, if your opponent picks up a flag bearer, you might have to pick up a flag bearer just because... Maybe you would rather be the one getting that extra card than your opponent. Um, what's your thought of Flag Bear? And well, using? in every set that I have ignored this, Zach's got it. He has won. By a lot. Which shows that the Flag Bear is not a card that if someone goes, you can ignore. I kind of ignored it toward, towards the end of this one. Yeah, but you had other methods of getting better actions. I don't think... I. I wouldn't say, like, you have to focus on it every game, but I would say most times you probably should. You don't want to ignore it. Yeah. Um, I think that this bottom part, you gotta, you gotta know, hey, how many turns is this person gonna get to draw that extra card? Yep. Because it will add up. It's like, uh, what's that card? Caravan from Seaside? Yep. Being able to play a bunch of those caravans and getting bigger hands, that's really good. Because you get cards together more often. Yep. If you have a lot of money, you're going to be able to buy the bigger cards. That was what helped me out early game trash all my stuff yeah. I didn't want. So that's huge. Uh, but you just got to focus on getting that flag. This card we haven't played with yet in a game with three or more players. That would be really fun to watch because yep. you're going to see this going around a lot more. It will devalue this card a bit. Because yep. definitely in a two-player game, it's so easy to just go back and forth. Go back and forth especially trashing this. Um, I think it's worth picking up, especially because you still can get the flag back when you trash it. And with a lot of these cards, you'll get something really nice I'm out of your to flag bearer. Out the logical reasoning that when you trash your flag bearer, it's like killing your flag bearer. Why do you get the flag? Let us know in the comments. Why does the flag bearer get the flag back as he dies? It goes to the trash. What's the lore? Who knows? But I like flag bearers. Maybe nice we should mechanic. do some research in this. Yeah, do some research. This episode is so cringy. What the hell are we doing? All right, so I have gone this card once so far playing it. I like this card a lot. 
I feel like I should have used it. I feel you should have too. I was shocked. Um, I felt this could combo really well with rats to get a lot of cards. I just didn't go it because I had an idea and I didn't want to go away from it too much. I could have gone it and probably helped, but I don't think I needed to. No. But I could see this combo with rats. Pretty this well. is definitely a very good card if used properly. Don't use it to trash coppers, really, because you get, you get no value out of it. You, you can, if that's your only option. You really want to get rid of them. Good on the estates, though. Yep. Good on anything else that can upgrade or gets you something when it's trashed, like rats gets you a card. You can even trash, theoretically, a gold for it. You might, you're getting rid of a gold, but if those six cards you draw into your next hand of five, and you're going like an engine or something, yep. that can be pretty powerful. So, I, I like this. This is, again, a simple card. Like, it's not hard to understand. Trash card, you get some cards set aside. But mastering it, the people who really know how to use this and when, I think this can dominate some games, honestly. Yep. Because it's pretty nice. Uh, one of the more interesting duration cards. It's also a lot more powerful the less cards you have. Mm-hmm. Because it can... You can control usually pretty well what, yep. what you're going to trash. So, I like it. I'm curious to see how this one plays in more sets, because uh, I haven't played with it much. But We're back to Cultists, one that has shown up recently on the show. Uh, I didn't win last time with the Cultist. I tried to give you all those ruins in that one episode. Uh, they didn't affect you too much until the end, you felt, in that game. What about this game? I hit you with a lot of ruins. Did they slow you down? Didn't do any. I just trashed them all with sewers and every other trash yeah. method in this game. Because uh, when you start going this, I'm like, that's not going to get you anywhere. That's what I thought at first. I was like, there's so many options to trash stuff. I, I don't think it's going to slow you down. In some ways, it might help because it's giving him an yeah. option to trash. But with the other cards. thing, too, is I had the flat, which meant yeah. I would draw an extra card, which I'd be like, oh, cool. I now have two ruins to trash. Or I have a copper ender ruins. There's two cards I didn't want to trash. Um, but the, the value of this card was what you did later. When you trash uh, this, I did not look at that three initial. cards. A lot of people, I think, overlook that fact. But I felt it was super good because it got my cards a lot more together. Yep. I did have some wasted actions, but I was specifically trying to get grave robbers to trash these cultists and then and get my provinces get and them back more out options. On. Yeah. Plus, if I had to, I could trash this with an improve, which I think I did a couple times just to get some gold. So yep. I had some straight up money because uh, money was tight for me this game. But my strategy, I wasn't really going for money. I was really Which banking is unusual on. For you. I know I'm usually a money player, but this one I felt I didn't need to. I felt Grave Robber is so strong at getting those victory cards I needed that I looked at Cultists as being a source for just drawing cards yeah. and getting the combos I needed. It made it that much more likely that I could do that. So that alone, it's funny. I think the game we played, we couldn't trash the Cultists as easily. Yeah. So it made. It's funny that this one now, I think, was key to making this card because really good. Because you could trash it. Yeah, so that, that was key. That made this card so much better, in my opinion. Otherwise, it's just the end. Yeah. Five cards, you get two. Well, I also, like that one turn where I stacked three of these, that was kind of fun. Uh, still, it's really cool to play the cultists on top of each other. Um, so, yeah, still, I think, a really powerful five card. I, I really enjoy it. Anything else you have to say on cultist? Yeah. Well, let's get to count. The card that we ignored this game, but the, the last time it showed up, we both went it like really early on. I should have gotten this over. I think you should have at the start. I, I was uh, I was surprised neither of us won it. Um, like we said the last time this showed up, uh, this card's super powerful just for the the flexibility. You get three options in one choice, and then another right. choice of three options. So the combos there are really cool. The first one, of course, is your negative effect, um, which. You know, gaining a copper in this set with such a plethora of Trash. trashing. You're going to get rid of that copper pretty quick. Yeah. Um, discarding the two cards probably wouldn't have done too much. Mm, I, unless you just in this really set, don't. you probably wouldn't discard two because you'd want them to trash them with the yeah. tons of trashing. Um, or putting... So the, the, the put a card on top, I like... Situational. Yeah, I like doing that because if I'm going to pick the bottom option of trashing my hand, I can take like maybe that one good card I don't want to trash yep. and then trash everything else. I did consider that trash another hand. Another fun thing you could do with this is put a card like a gold back on top, trash your hand that had a couple rats and get your gold right back. That's true. Yeah, I was about to say that. Using the uh, trash your hand on the rats was probably a really good way to keep the rat population also 
and you draw a lot of cards. Yep. So, um, a little more complicated because you want to make sure you're drawing actions if you don't have any. But I guess if that's you what save villagers, your villagers are for. yeah. So, um, I definitely should have gotten this. Yeah, especially because you could have played this and got a duchy because yeah, points were so close. If you would have got that last province, I was only up by a duchy. Yep. So this could have kept you in the game a little more too. So I love this card. This card is really cool. I wonder how how much this ranks on other people's lists because this is a pretty cool card. I like it. Count, you're still cool in my book. Counterfeit. I never got to use this. Made me sad. Uh, I did not pick this up, so I'll let you start. What do you What did you think about it? I used I got it for this set because it was the only card with a buy, and I kept getting money. I was like, oh, I can use this to trash my golds and get even more money. That's pretty um, and nice. And I needed too. to gain multiple victory cards to keep up with his uh, engine that he had going. Uh, and this is the only way you can easily get that without getting a Grave Robbers and Cultist combo or something other. It's really fun to use Counterfeit, especially early on your coffers. There are so many other options, though, that I felt were better. That's why I kind of ignored it when I usually would go Counterfeit. It's really fun on Silvers, too. Especially yeah. if you have Counterfeit in with Prosperity cards, where maybe you don't want Silvers because you're going Colonies, and Silvers don't help too much usually yeah. for that. But if you use your Silver on a Counterfeit, pretty fun there, too. Um... Counterfeit can be cool with uh, a lot of the, the special treasure cards, like yeah. the Kingdom card one. Because maybe you want some of those cool abilities. Man, how do you counterfeit a bank? This is a <laughs> fake bank. I've made a fake What's bank. What's the story behind counterfeiting a bank? That's your other homework assignment. This is a really cool five card, though. I like it. Uh, I think there's some cool combos you can have. I don't know how powerful it was in this set. Did you feel it was powerful? Cause that's I never I got to use it, so... Yeah. Um, I bought them and they were in my next hand. Because especially in mine, where I wasn't going treasures, I didn't really need this. This was so. useless to you. Yeah, so I ignored it. Um, I think it's good card if you need the buy. Yes. Um, if you need the buy and you're going to use these high power treasures and you keep them going, because you might... Sacrificing the gold, sure, you're going to get six coins, but maybe you still need that to keep coming up. Yeah. Who knows? But that's the counterfeit. Let's get to the last card of the set. Key to my strategy this week was Grave Robbers. Um, the first part is cool. Um, I really liked that at first when we first started playing Dark Ages. It was cool because I was like the first card we could pull stuff out of yep. the trash. Um, cool, but I didn't need it too much this game. It was the bottom part that when I first started playing this card, I underestimated. But the fact that you can take a five action card, which you, you usually will have, yep. and dump it for a province is great. That's yep. what made it... That, that was the key to my strategy. I saw Grave Robber and I went, I see a card combo here that I think I can use to use rats to get tons of uh, five cards that I need. The cultist trashing them will help me combo to get them with Grave yep. Robbers, which I'll use that somehow a Grave Robber is going to build me a province. He's got to find something in there that I get a province. Apparently those cultists, they had deeds. Oh, yeah. And their graves. The pro provinces. And so when he went and dug them up and stole their... I did use this to pull out a cultist, so that was... That, I at least used the top part once, because I was like, I don't want to trash anything in this hand, but I'll get a yep. cultist back for later use. So that's cool. Um, this is a, a neat card. Um, so you went this as an early five card, and... Shouldn't have done it. You, you said you shouldn't have done it. Why not? What, what do you think was better? Because it was too slow for my strategy towards the end, and it didn't oh, yeah. really have any value. So that's why you're thinking count would have been better for you yeah, at that point? Yeah, because I, I was using a trash Ratch, which gives me up to a 7 card. whoop de doo Yeah, you want the 8 I at need that point. The, it yeah. gets you gold, but... I, count would have been better. Yeah, I think it would have been too. I, I didn't go Grave Robber early, early, because I didn't need it yet, so I went Cultist, because the chain, of course. I'll give you a few runes, maybe we'll slow you down a bit. Um, but eventually... I called someone trash with the card. Would have cultist would have slowed me down if I didn't have the flag. Oh yeah, I think because I had the flag, it was just eh, whatever. All right. Lastly, our project. Let's start with the one no one went. Yeah, crop rotation. Uh, this is a good one in which you can't get rid of victory cards easily, or when you could get rid of all your cards and it's good late game. Yeah, I like this. Uh, if you start with your states and can't trash them, it's nice to be able to discard one of them to draw two cards. But they cost six, so... Yeah. As an early buy, eh, 
I never had six. I was my strategy was so much trashing to get these high value cards. I can't trash to get the project because I could have used the project yep. to discard these provinces to at least get rid of one bad card to potentially get two better. In this game, we didn't start with the states. We started with shelters, so this had even less yeah. value. Yeah, so it was only going to work on your uh, overgrown estate. So it really just came down to you're going to go crop rotation if you have six and you don't want a gold or any of your kingdom yep. cards and you already have some victories that you want to discard. That's why I even picked up a duchy a lot earlier than I thought I would have was, hey, this will help me keep Ben from maybe buying a province where he wouldn't maybe towards the end because the duchy might break a tie or something. But uh, I like crop rotation. That's a cool little uh, project there. The main one, though, here was Sue. Per, this is one you only pick if there's another method of trashing. Yeah, otherwise you're not going to use it. Sorry. And it's really fantastic. I wonder if this set's called Sewer Rats. Because sewers is in here. And rats. Oh. But in any case, yeah. I I felt like that was kind of a guaranteed... Like, projects are always good the earlier you get them. Because you get to use them more. Yep. Definitely sewers. I think almost in every set, if you're planning on trashing a lot... It's probably worth it to... to Especially if you that. can get the card you want to trash as your four. Mm -hmm. And boom, you're going to start so, trashing things really fast. Yeah. Um, now, there was a lot of trashing going on in this set that you might have been able to ignore the sewers. But I feel like it just it's just so nice. Up. Yeah, I felt like this... I, so maybe I, you could ignore it, but I just didn't feel like ignoring it. I um, don't Maybe in certain sets, you're, you're going to have enough trashing that you don't really need to invest the three in that, and maybe something else will be better. Um, but I think most Like, if times, you have Chapel, you probably don't need to I want to trash five cards with my Chapel. That's like in your starting hand. It's like, you go that, you play your Chapel, you trash those four other cards you had in your hand, and you're like, oh, I could trash one more. That's not worth it, then. Uh, I like sewers. That is a cool little trash card. Out of the yep. projects, I think there's only two that trash stuff. And the other one we're kind of skeptical on, Cathedral. We'll hit that one eventually. But I really like sewers. That one, I think, is a more interesting trash card to me. Um, we don't have to hit the, the, the shelters. We've hit shelters before on the show. They change up your start, make it a little more interesting. I don't think there's anything super huge for these. It was nice. I'll just say the Necropolis was nice for the two actions for what I was doing, so I kept it. I got rid of it. So, that's it for that. Uh, let's talk about our starts here. Rats and sewers, because it's for four, called three. sewer rats. Yeah, it's, the set's called that. There's a reason for that. Also, I, I just feel like that combo's really powerful. I want to know if somebody, if you have the 4-3, if you would change anything about your start there. Do you think there's something faster than rats sewers? Because we both really felt that's the way to go. And I, I agree. I think... Go on that. Yep. Uh, what about 5-2? None of us got 5-2. I did have a plan for 5-2. Well, two. I'd say you have to go lackeys. And Definitely. probably count. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. In fact, I'd be curious to see the set with a 5-2 split. Because if you get the count, it's a pretty rapid trash card, especially if you get it yep. as your first 5-2 uh, split there. So you might even be able to ignore rats then. Because you're going to trash a bunch of your starting cards. I don't know if you need the rats then, unless you're going to do what I did with all the, the comboing. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if at that point, maybe that's when you avoid sewers. I think the, the you're going to get sewers, though, definitely, if you're doing the yeah. rats. If you get the count lackeys, you might not need the... Because uh, the only way you trash with cultists, or count, is you trash your hand. Yep. Yep. Trash everything. So no, You're dumping everything. No need to... I guess... It does really change your start. If you trash rats with your count and you draw a card, then you can yeah. trash more with your sewers. But if you're going count, I don't think there's a need for rats. Definitely, if you get if you get your count and you trash a whole hand of a lot of bad cards, that's going to be less of the other cards you're going to need to pick up to deal with the rest of those cards. I doubt you're going to be able to use count twice to do that whole hand trash, but you might. It just depends yeah. what you're going at as this uh, top part before. And you don't want to dump too many cards in case you need those to get the better cards. Um, which usually Rats was helping with, at least. But I, I feel like that 4-3 is the, the, the start starter here that I would like. So that was this set. Anything else you have to say about it? 
It's a good set. It's a good set. I recommend it. Uh, I think it's just a fun one to sit down and play. Definitely keep in mind your sewers. I did forget it sometimes. There were sometimes I didn't want to do it because I knew I needed cards to trash for the rats or else it was useless. But there was other times using the sewers to trash the rats to keep that in line. I'd recommend make sure you're doing that. So, to be in this episode, I said I was liking Renaissance a lot more. It's getting up there in my card list. You were saving it to now. So, what's your update on your Renaissance opinions? I like this set a lot, but I still say get other sets first. So, your opinion's the same? Yep. Liar. He didn't have anything new. I, I, I like it. I actually played some Renaissance games. I had to games. keep the suspense going. I had to play, I played some Renaissance games with some relatively new players. They haven't even touched Adventures or Empires. But I said, I'm going to try this with them, Renaissance. And it worked really well. Uh, they definitely liked the, the villager mechanic, being able to save the actions. They had a lot of fun with that. Um, I think that was the main thing they took away, was that. And the projects. Uh, I think they, I noticed the projects were kind of ignored. So maybe new players are going to ignore these, but they've never played really with any cards that sit off to the side, like events or landmarks. So that was something I, I did take note of. Um, they did ignore the artifacts too. So a couple of those new mechanics, maybe new players will ignore a bit, but they really like this, which I felt this is what people yeah. are going for for this set. So that's, that's the cool thing there. All right. Any announcements we gotta make? Anything you gotta say to the people before we leave? No. He has enough. Well, I, don't know. I, don't I know, know anything. You should you should like the video. You should subscribe if you haven't. And you should leave a comment. We told you some things. You gotta do your research and let us know in the comments below. Also let us know, just like this week was a set, somebody wanted to see rats, so we said, hey, we wanna see rats too. So we, we picked it out and we played it. So if you have anything that you want us to play, like a certain card, certain set of cards, just certain expansions, we'll hit that. Um, we're going to try to get a three-player game in here soon. It's been a while since we did three, and there's definitely a lot of different mechanics when you got three people fighting over the provinces yeah. and two. So it's always cool to have that happen. So we're going to try to get that maybe next episode. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, we'll catch you guys next week on Dominating Dominion, or ne next time. Hopefully next week. We'll find out. Leave. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. So rude to our viewers. <laughs>